what's up everybody it's onglor i want to wish you a very happy halloween and i hope you get all the candy in the world and are safe in the process of doing so welcome to the third episode in let's play darkest dungeon series i felt this video was appropriate today due to the fact that it is halloween and the theme of this game as many of you know is very dark i have my dream team assembled so far Unfortunately, the Crusader, I believe, died early in our adventures, and there is yet to be one in the wagon, which is really weird because it seems they come pretty often, but so far, no Crusader, and we will carry on. Unfortunately, a bleed has been applied right there to my character, and there are only two bandages available. I really don't like spending extra money on bandages and... Uh, cleansing blight I do have a character that can cleanse blight but they are not with us yet they haven't arrived and I'm really hoping that they come very soon I rely on them to relieve stress heal somewhat and to cure ailments they aren't a very good healer so they are a great support role and I would like to bring them along very soon and it just sucks that a bleed got applied so early in the dungeon literally the first fight and I only have one bandage available and with the way dungeons go I have a feeling that yeah um you know I'm gonna be using it fairly soon I'm just gonna have to let her bleed for the time being but I'm, the more I'm thinking about it the more I need her I really don't want to lose this character because they are very good in many aspects so I'm thinking just maybe buying the bullet and using the bandage soon I'm not for sure because her health is getting kind of low and I don't want them to get extra stressed and then go crazy on top of it all. So at least she took care of business right there and we can go on about clearing this dungeon. Hopefully. Alright, so I'm just going to use this bandage and hope for the best. Normally I go with enough supplies or food to feed the party twice, but I always bring extra food just in case situations like this arise. And I was really thinking about reading uh, or searching that bookcase right there, but absolutely nothing good can come from reading anything in this game. Every single time I've stopped to read anything, something really bad happens, my character goes nuts, and yeah, it's just not good. So I refuse to read anything in this game. Okay, so at least this party was surprised, so we got kind of a good start to this fight, and I'm hoping the trend continues. Nobody bleed. We have no bandages. So, just saying. Okay, let's see if this can land. Good. That was actually a really good hit. If it was a crit, it might have killed it, but... I guess, uh... It is what it is. Okay, so... Damn, I was really hoping that wouldn't miss, because that's kind of a lot of stress. 18. You know, guys, I did mark my Twilight Night for a reason, so please leave my healer alone. I'm just asking nicely here. See, once again, like, I swear I've marked the target and yet they still keep ignoring it. I don't understand why. Alright, let's keep this stress level low for the healer. Hopefully, this can finish off the guy in the back. Ah, uh, wonderful. Wonderful. You know, give the party more opportunity to excel, right? Okay, so hopefully that misses. Of course not, it hits for a pretty good amount. Why are you guys attacking my healer? I don't know. And there goes another bleed already, with no bandages. Cool. At least you finished off that guy. Now I'm thinking I would like to finish off the guy in the front sometime soon. At least I'm hoping so. The gesture has really grown on me because of his stress management. It's really huge in gameplay and saves me money when we go back in town because I don't have to waste it trying to take away the stress from my characters. Actually this game stresses me out a lot too, but ever since the gesture came along the stress has been lessened for everybody, which is nice. There we go, good hit. Now I'm hoping you finish him off. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Done and done. And I'm hoping the group takes note of that and finishes off the rest of these NPCs because I really just want to clear this dungeon and get out with as little stress 
and death as possible. Okay, so I always really hated wasting an ability to get rid of a corpse. It always kind of upset me, but nothing you can do about it, right? Ooh, good, nice. Very nice. That's what I like to see. Now let's see if this group heal. No, I'm just going to heal up the healer because I don't want to take a chance right now. If that healer dies, then pretty much the party's gone. Alright, good job, guys. I really hope to get a dodge token soon to apply to the knight as well. Oh, good. I'm surprised I didn't give him some sort of nasty gash. The layout of this dungeon is really irritating because... I really hate backtracking to get where I need to go, and I'm going to have to do so in this layout. Let's see, anything in this backpack? Oh, that was pretty shitty right there. And according to the map, there was nothing in this room. So now goes a great trek back. I'm really glad that I brought extra provisions this time around. I always try to come prepared because I've had this situation so many times and come in with no supplies. And it's been all bad. Hence, Starkest Dungeon. It really looks to fuck you over at every possible turn. And it really does. You know, I think if I come across another bookcase, I might just try to search one to see if my luck has changed. But I'm not for sure exactly. Alright, everybody. Eat up. I got you all some McDonald's. Um... Double quarter pounder because they use real meat now. Who knew, right? That real meat would taste good. And fresh, too. Okay, so let's see here. Hmm. Let's go there. There's some treasure. So it's pretty much a straight shot and then a fight. I'm about to use a torch again here after I search this sack. Oh, nice. There's actually something in it. Oh. Oh, boy. 25 gold. I'm going to take that 25 gold and paint the town red tonight. I can do all the things with that. Okay, so let's go to the next room. One of the other things I really do enjoy about this game is the announcer. He, the narrator, is a really cool dude. I like his stuff. I'm actually surprised something bad didn't happen right there. Because I never really searched those. But I figured out ah, what the hell. You know, like, whatever happens, we'll just kind of deal with it and go through. Okay, here we go. Alright guys, let's give him the business here. Swiftly and quick. First things first, I want to apply to a bleed or two, hopefully. Nice, got two of them off. Mark myself. Although her health is at half, it might not be a good idea, but, you know, you just gotta stick with the game plan and don't give up, right? Okay, so there we go. Nice heal. Let's see here. I kind of want to whack the guy in the back. Ooh, shit, I was not expecting that. Very nice. One hit, one kill. I like that. Gets rid of anything stupid that can happen. Well, not anything, but another possibility of, you know? Oh, damn it. I hate it when it crits on me. Oh, that's cool. We only got Fatty left in the front, so that's good. Alright, guys, let's take care of business here and not mess around, please. Just whack him. I mean, he takes up two fucking squares. Like, how can you miss, right? Well, that's my thinking. Like, he, look how big he is. He's just there. How are your attacks going to miss? And why are you still healing for one? Anyways, let's manage some stress here a little bit. Okay, so... Next should be... Okay, yeah, you're stunned. Alright, so... Ooh, nice. Let's see who's next. I wonder if I can still make him bleed... Because he takes up two squares, right? So technically, yeah, that's what I thought. I should be able to hit him still because he takes up two. Okay. I just want to make sure this character is healed up. I'll try maybe a party heal next. Nice. You missed? I don't understand how you missed. He's as big as a house. Oh, good. And your aim is just as good. You missed the barn. She missed the house in the barn. What's going on here, guys? Come on. Seriously, like, the longer we, you know, just dangle around here, something's gonna go bad. Okay, let's get your stress down. I know you can take care of your own stress, but, you know, the less stress, the better. Because you honestly never know what can happen, like, seriously. Okay, good, you should just be dead on your own accord. Nice. 
Okay, that's actually not bad loot those guys had. Although I feel that mobs should drop double the money they do. Okay. I don't like these guys. Oh, hey, there. You don't see that too often, too. Nicely done. Let's get rid of you, hopefully. Nice. Okay, good. I'm not even going to bother to, like, mark myself. There's only two left, so it's just a waste of time to me. I'm just going to try to get in and get out. I don't know how the bleed chance on the spiders are, but I figured they'd be normal because they're just spiders. I figured they maybe would resist blight and poison more, but I'm probably wrong. Oh, hey, I like that. I miss. Awesome. Let's see here. Let's get you to, like, no stress. Well, you're pretty much right there. That no stress. And let's finish this off, shall we? Excellent. Cool. You know, same thing applies to these glass cases. Nothing ever good happens, but I'm thinking to myself, you know what? Let's, let's just try here. And, of course, that happens. Wonderful. And that's why I don't search that shit. Okay, so let's keep on going and see what's in the next room. I was kind of actually expecting a battle right there. All right, the, the scouting report reveals treasure and a fight and then nothing. Okay. Let's see what's in this crate. Oh, nice. Hey, that's better than nothing, right? I'll take it at this point. Let's see what this next fight has in store for us, shall we? Oh, these guys. I see them quite often. They're really irritating. Just saying. Ah, oh, six. Uh, I, I really need some more trinkets. I don't have many to choose from. And I need to boost these guys' damage when I can. Alright, nice. A double bleed. Ooh, a miss. Haha, the whole party. I like that. Good. Bleed to death, asshole. Oh, man. I wish I had my marked target right there. Then I probably would kill them. Let's see. Oh, three. We're getting fancy now. Okay. I like that. Keep it up. Maybe next time shoot for four. Okay. Now we got the game plan going and we will see what happens here. A swing and a miss. Ooh, there we go. Strike out. I like it. Let's kill this asshole. And we still have that little douchebag in the back. I decided to stress management right there is a little bit more important. Hopefully you miss. Oh, man. Come on. It's supposed to be the other way around. Uh, I really hate using this to get rid of a corpse. Now, that mob in the back is safe nowhere. I think he's about to get a cleaved in the dome shortly. Actually, let's just do this. I don't even want to... I just want to keep moving forward. I think that should be double to, like, almost 300 gold. Personally. Oh, hey, we completed it. I know there's one more room we didn't search. And I want all the loot I can get. So I'm going to take a chance and see what's up. Cool trap. Nice. Excellent. Good way to start this. Books. Nope. You're not going to fool me again. Uh, well. Yeah. No. Whatever happened last time. No. Nope. Anything in here? We are done. Cool. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And then immediately hit that like button. I will see you in the next video. Take care.